Salutations, everybody. Today we're going to learn how to do the witch slap. So special thanks there to War Farm Repeat and Alpha Hyper for suggesting this video. And an even bigger shout out to I Am Lurk who made this possible by providing the attacks. Oh, look, Stink Pants, there's your base. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so first thing we've got to do Take a note of the troop lineup and the spells lineup there. That's very important. Pause the video if you have to. All right, so the first step is dropped some four witches and two healers in one corner there. So this is the initial part of the attack. The next step, it's going to be a little hard to see, but there you go. He's dropped another four witches and another two healers in the other corner there. Yeah, same as funnel. Yeah, that's correct. So the next step is to drop that golem. Now hopefully this one will go up the middle as he has planned. But already you can see there's a little... Oh, he's dropped three wizards there to help take out all of those outside buildings. I suspect there might be a bit of trouble there with uh, the in hidden Teslas because they have popped out of nowhere. Already taken care of two of the wizards there. All right, so the next step, he has dropped another couple of witches still to try and take out those buildings yet to be demolished. All right, so next part to the, the attack, he's dropped his heroes now, as well as the bowlers from the clan castle, which is quite important, I think, for the witch slap, that you do need the, the bowlers donated to you. Now, he's already got a problem. Those healers have gone for the golem, just like who? War farm repeats, eh? That's the one. He said he had the same problem. And as you can see, the witches on the top left, they're about to die just because they have no healers trained on them. So he has got the, the troops going up the middle like he wanted to, but the bowlers have gone in the wrong direction. So he's pretty much just got the heroes and the golems already... Uh, what do you call it when it's been split in two? Like half killed? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We'll call it half killed. Now, the one advantage that he does have here is those healers are trained on the bowlers now, and that is actually very effective, as you can see. I'd say that it, there's probably a little bit of luck involved with this one. If those healers didn't train on those bowlers, he'd be in a lot of trouble, I suspect. But you can see, even though the, the heroes are taking quite a lot of damage, thankfully they are taking out those middle buildings. I doubt either one of them are going to survive. There's only the Queen left. Uh, nice use of the, the Queen's special power, but she's probably going to die there. But as you can see, the bowlers are still going very strong. They do have a Witch and a Wizard attached there, but even if they didn't, I'd say with those three bowlers and two healers on them, they'll be able to take out the rest of the base. Would you say that's true there, Stink Pants? I think so. Yeah, so we'd have to say it's a good attack. I mean, he's got 100%, no doubt about it. There might have been a little bit of luck involved with that one. So we'll move on to the second one now. Oh, who put the intro in again late, Stink Pants? Was that you? No. I think that was you. Hell no. <laughs> All right, so this is the second one. Again, this is a Town Hall 9 specialty type attack. So again, you can see he's dropped the four healers and the two witches in one corner. Another four witches and two healers. And where that cross is is where he's going to drop the golem, as you can see right there. How is that for a prediction, Stink Pants? It's fun now, basically. Yeah, it is a funnel. So if you don't know what that is, check out the previous video that is dedicated to funneling. Now this is looking a little bit more solid, but you do have to keep an eye on where those healers are in relation to those witches on the side. So concentrate on that a little bit more than the funneling up the middle, just so you can see what's happening. Are they going in the right direction? And as you can see, top uh, corner, yeah, that's fine, but bottom corner, those pesky healers again, they've left those witches that are going where we want them to go with no protection and as you can see they're going to die fairly quickly one's just gone uh, his bowlers perfect placement they've gone right up the middle there uh, but again if we concentrate down the bottom where those witches are they were stuck on the the walls for a little bit they're now going in the direction we want them to but that healer again it's trained on the wrong witch so again, he's lost the witches down the bottom and he's also lost the healers at the top. So we are really going to struggle with this one. I'm not so sure he's going to three-star this one. What would be your prediction, Stink Pants? It would be close match. It will be a close one. I think I'm in tears. 
I think now that his hero is gone, he really doesn't have enough strength left in his troops to, to take out the remaining base. Oh, you're crying too, stink pants. Yeah. It was very close, but no, I'd say that's it. He didn't quite get it on that one. So it is a difficult attack, I would suggest, just because it is hard to control where your troops go. I mean, funneling helps. This is the chart for it, basically. Four witches on one side, two healers, four witches on the other side, two healers, and the bulk of your troops going up the middle. Do you like that display, stink pants? Yeah, cool. All right, now this one, you're not getting any hints this time. So we're just going to watch the attack as it occurs. So, oh, it's hard for me to line up those things in the corner, but again, we've got all of the placement, just like the previous two attacks. Uh, the healers are doing quite well. They're sticking on those witches. This is what we want. So are they going to go up the side and have the witch, uh, healers stay on them? That's the big question. You can see that uh, the witches on the left-hand side there are tending to sort of swing in towards the middle, but that's actually advantageous in this case. So long as they're keeping fairly wide and separate, you can see they're doing the damage that they need to do. So this one's looking much more solid. He's getting pretty much all the troops to go where he wants them to go. The bowlers probably could have gone up the middle, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Now, the good news for him is those healers they're trained on those witches going right up the middle, so I'd suggest he'll have no problems with this one. What would you say, Stink Pants? Yeah, I think funneling is very important, so it can control the healers to go which way. Yeah, that's right. And to be honest, I'd never even heard of this attack until the subscribers had suggested it. Unlike you who studies these sorts of things, you knew what a witch slap was. Well, not really, because this one is for Town Hall 9. Oh, well, that's true, and you're a big Town Hall 10 now, aren't you? Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that ba basically hey, takes... showing my best. <laughs> <laughs> that takes care of this one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button, share the video if you like it. On behalf of Poot Dot and Stink Pants, have a fantastic day. Goodbye. So what did you think of that one, Stink Pants? Except my base is good. <laughs>